Okay, so now let us learn about complementary angles. Simply, whenever two angles, right, when we add the measure of two angles and that comes out to be 90 degrees, they are known as complementary angles. So how are they related? They are related by the fact that if we take a sum of the measures, that would be equal to 90 degrees. That is, those are simply the complementary angles. So let us look at this example. So here we have an angle, angle A, B, C, right? And the other angle we have is angle D, E, F, right? So, so this is how we write the angles. But now um, there's another way of writing angles. We can also write it as angle E. And we can also write this as angle B. The only reason why I can write this without any doubt because there is a unique angle. Angle E is unique and angle B is unique. So if I say angle E, actually it means D, E, F. And when I say B, it means A, B, C. And that might not always be the case. So we just have to be careful when we are using just a single letter to denote the angle. But in this case, we can safely do that. Now in the, this angle, the angle A, B, C, this is equal to 30 degrees. Whereas the angle D, E, F, when I take the measure of this, it is equal to 60 degrees. Now, if we take the sum of angle E and angle B, right? So that is angle E plus angle B. So when I say angle E plus angle B, it actually means measure of angle E plus measure of angle B. Right? But just for the sake of simplicity, we just write it as angle E plus angle B. And what, whether we are referring to the measure or the angle, it depends on the context in which we are talking. Since we are adding here, it means we are adding the measures. So now angle E is 60 degrees and angle B is 90, uh, 30 degrees. The sum of these two comes out to be 90 degrees. Therefore, angle E and angle B or angle ABC and angle DEF are complementary angles. So that is what we mean by a complementary angle. Now let us try to think about a bit further on this complementary angles. Can two acute angles be complement of each other? Now acute angle, if you remember, acute angles are angles from 0 to 90 degree. It doesn't include 90 degree. It is 0 to 90 degree, right? In fact, if we carefully look at it, right, for an angles to be complement of each other, they must be acute. Both of the angles must be acute. So the answer to this would that yes, definitely two acute angles can be complement of each other. Now can two obtuse angles be complement of each other? If we think over this, let's try to uh, make a diagram and try to understand. What is an obtuse angle? An obtuse angle is greater than between lies between 90 to 180. So let's take just a simple example where I have this angle, which is greater than 90 degree. Okay, and let's say that this is just 100 degrees. You could even take 91 degrees for that matter, or for that matter, even 90.1. Now what is the next angle that you can use? We, we are seeing two obtuse angles. So let's say that the other angle which I'm considering would be something like 90 de 91 degrees, right? Just a little bit more, 91 degrees. This is what, just one degree more than that, right? Let this be 90 degrees, 91. So if I add both of these, that is 100 plus 91, it comes out to be 191. In fact, it doesn't satisfy the criteria of being complement because for, an, for two angles to be complement, their sum must be equal to 90 degrees. But an obtuse angle, by definition, itself is greater than 90 degrees. Therefore, two obtuse angles can never be the complement of each other. Can two right angles be the complement of each other? The same thing applies here. For an angle to be complement of each other, uh, for an angle to be complement, their sum must be equal to 90 degree. Now if I add two right angles, right? A right angle is 90 degree, and another angle would also be 90 degree. So that comes out to be 180. So right angles can never be complement of each other. So what, what do we conclude from here is that 
for or, or we can say that it is only acute angles when added they become a complement right we we cannot obtain complement and complement of angles which are obtuse and right right only acute angles can be combined to form complementary angles that is what is the key point over here now having said that let us look at a few of the problems right which of the following pairs are complementary now in order to solve this what we do is we simply apply a criteria that two angles are complementary that is angle x plus angle y if it is equal to 90 degrees this is our criteria right angle x plus angle y whenever it is equal to 90 degree if this is satisfied then angle x and angle y right it is said to be a complementary pair so now let us look at the first example here so we have 70 plus 20 right so in the first example so when i add this that is i'll add it over here 70 plus 20 which is equal to 90 degree therefore yes these two angles let us call it angle a and angle b therefore the angle a and angle b are complementary angles so i'll just write a yes over here now let us look at this second example it says 75 degree and 25 now let us add both of these and evaluate so 75 plus 25 it comes down to 100 degrees now if you see this criteria is not satisfied angle x plus angle y that is 75 plus 25 is not equal to 90 it is greater than 90 therefore these two angles are not complementary let us look at the third one so we have 48 plus 52 now when i add 48 and 52 what we get is 100 again right 48 degrees plus 52 is 100 degrees so this means that these two angles they are also when when we add them they are not equal to 100 and therefore they are also not complementary angles now let us look at this one the fourth problem which says 35 degree and 55 degree so we will use our addition criterion that is 35 plus 55 55 so that equals to 90 degrees 50 plus 30 is 90 plus 10 uh, 50 plus 30 is 80 plus 10 is 90 therefore these two angles given in fourth problem are complementary angles so this was all about complementary angles and some sums some examples that we solved using the concept of complementary angles in the next video we will learn about supplementary angles and solve examples using them